Hello Air Science, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything, love, finances, friendship, trips, um, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. The first spread is for all of you, it's like a bonus, and then there's going to be a separate spread for every air sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Please sh like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all air signs. We have uh, the Hangman, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune, uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Sun, and we have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Leo, maybe a Sagittarius, or any zodiac sign. You know what it looks like? Well, let me let me compare. Let me show you com the comparison, right? The Hangman with the Seven of Cups. There isn't really much going on. Neither is g going on much with the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, right? So it feels like either you had options, you were looking at options, you were taking your time and uh, maybe doing some kind of a research, or maybe you just didn't know what you wanted out of those options, right? But uh, with the remaining three cards, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and the Sun, there's definitely clarity, and there's definitely a decision that's being made, and there's definitely a forward movement. <laughs> so that's the comparison, right? So perhaps you do have options with the Hangman, the Eight of uh, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups, because yeah, or maybe somebody is deliberately trying to cloud your judgment, or deliberately trying to. Um, slow you down or deliberately trying to uh, get in the way just just so you wouldn't move forward you wouldn't make a decision right away but uh, over this weekend there's definitely a decision main, being made right with those three cards the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords and the Sun right both the Ace of Swords and the Sun are clarity cards the Seven of Cups could be interpreted as a card of somebody's judgment being clouded all right so, and uh, it could translate into pretty much any area of your life, you know, love, <laughs> maybe you have people, <laughs> multiple people you're interested in, or multiple people interested in you, and you're just trying to understand whom you want to move forward with, you may be thinking about where you want to go uh, on vacation next time you'd go, or where you want to move, which which house you want to buy, which washing machine you want to buy, which diet you want to go on, you get the idea, right? So over the weekend you will gain clarity and you'll decide to move forward or you'll pick one of the options you're looking at. Alright? Cool. Gemini, uh, we have the Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Sun, we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo or pretty much any other sign. It feels like you're in the center of attention. Well, what else is new, right? <laughs> if you're celebrating your birthday over the weekend, first of all, happy birthday. Second of all, yeah, that's what's going on. Maybe you, you, maybe you are celebrating your birthday and you're in the center of attention. All right, but um, it's also like a major victory for you. Maybe you are working over the weekend, or maybe you're teaching somebody over the weekend. Maybe it's a book club, maybe you are writing your own business or something, maybe you're organizing some kind of an event, okay? Because uh, the Three of Pentacles right next to the deck, it, this card often talks about like collaboration, cooperation. When I do work-related or business-related readings, the Three of Pentacles could be a card of like a consulting gig, because in the Three of Pentacles we have three people, right? One of them is standing a little bit above the other two, and the one standing above the two is teaching those two, right? But the, the Three of Pentacles could also be a card of just, you know, hanging out with your friends, <laughs> all right? And uh, we have two victory cards on the table. The Chariot, the first one, and the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck is the second one, right? Victory, success, triumph, the chariot could be a card of maybe going somewhere, right? Uh, maybe you're going camping and then you're teaching everybody how to survive in the, in the, in the woods. <laughs> maybe you're one of those people, you know, maybe you're like an instructor. And uh, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in the middle is classified by the sun. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of maybe somebody who is doing very well financially or somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, admired, respected. The sun clarifying it. Yeah, you're glowing up. The sun is the brightest object in the sky and it's clarifying the Nine of Pentacles and I assume you are the person in the Nine of Pentacles, right? You're in the center of attention, you're on top of the world. 
And uh, everything revolves around you for this weekend, <laughs> at least for this weekend, Gemini. Right, and uh, the Ace of Pentacles, uh, clarify the Three of Pentacles, it's a golden opportunity. Maybe you're getting paid for this, or maybe you doing what you're doing over the weekend is going to lead to something long term, something that's maybe evolve into something better, bigger, and uh, more. Maybe you'll monetize on this or something like that. All right, let me know in the comments down below how this plays out for you. But this is like, yeah, two victory cards, Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles, these are all good, great cards. All right, cool. Libra, we have uh, the Two of Cups clarified by the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I, I keep seeing both the King and the Queen of Swords in your readings, or Justice and the King of Swords, if I recall it cor correctly. Yeah, the King and the Queen of Swords, and you guys are either going somewhere or doing something together, starting something new, both of you are on the same page. Um, yeah, that's what this part is about. So we, we got both the King and the Queen of Swords, so you're probably dealing with a fellow air sign. Uh, Gemini and other Libra Aquarius, the Two of Cups, the first card that came out that is clarified by the King of Swords. Yeah, it's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of when two people are in agreement, both people are on the same page. Then we have the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So you could be literally going somewhere over the weekend. Okay, you could be, or you could be moving in together, or you could be relocating, or you could be starting something new and exciting, right, with those two cards. And uh, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true, it's also a card of a party, maybe one of you <laughs> is a Gemini, right, and it could be a Gemini's uh, birthday party or birthday trip or something like that. Okay, um, yeah, the Nine of Cups could be a card of a party. In some tarot decks in, in the Nine of Cups, people are standing around and celebrating. But it's also a card of a wish come true. All right, so yeah, it's like, it's like perfect between the two of you. Perfect. All right, cool. Aquarius, uh, we have Death, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Star, uh, clarified by the Eight of Wands. And we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio, maybe another Aquarius, maybe a Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. Something is over, something is done. And I think that's you who is putting an end to something and moving on. M maybe literally moving. Or it could be happening to somebody else. Somebody else could be ending something, stopping something, and moving towards you. Right? Because the star right next to the deck, that's uh, your major arcana card, right? It's also a card of healing, but uh, I think that's you since this is your <laughs> reading. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. Always is. But we start with the Death, clarified by the Ten of Swords, those two cards. Both of them are ending cards, so one clarifying another, so something is definitely ending. It could be a job, it could be uh, maybe you're breaking a lease, or the, your lease is over, and uh, you have to move, or you're just moving, or you're leaving something behind, or someone behind. But uh, the thing about this is that you will actually feel good about it. Right, because on the bottom of the deck we have the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory, success. It's a card of uh, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of overcoming something. Right, the Six of Swords, uh, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in the middle, including the Eight of Wands, actually, clarifying the star. All those three cards could be interpreted as cards of literally going somewhere or literally moving. All right, or moving on, <laughs> leaving something behind. And the thing about the Six of Swords, this card always talks about improvements. But the Six of Swords, things always get better, right? And the, the Wheel of Fortune is like a fortunate turn of event. It's a very fortunate card, hence the word fortune in it. And um, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. Three major Arcana cards, including your own. Something important, something important. But uh, I think this is... For the, at least for the most part, this is what you're doing. You could be influenced by other people, you could be influenced by circumstances, but I think this is you pulling this plug and moving or moving on or going somewhere. Or maybe quitting a job and starting a new job, uh, maybe the following week. All right, 